establish EC. All right, so we're gonna be learning about NFAs, regexes, and how to convert this particular regex into an NFA. So the general strategy here is that you wanna start with the really easy pieces and then build them up from there. And by easy pieces, I mean the things that can't be subdivided into smaller parts. So if we look at this union, for example, it's the union of two things, and so therefore can be broken into smaller parts. If we look at each of these individual characters, well, in here too, there's, it's going to be concatenation of things, and so those can be broken into smaller parts. But if we look at just the A or just the B, then those can't be broken down. So the general strategy here is to make a little NFA for each of those pieces. So I'm going to make a little NFA for just the character A. So we want to accept just the character A and nothing else. And a really easy way of doing that, although there are many, is that I can just have a two-state thing like that, where I just read it A, no other transitions. And then B is going to be very analogous, where I just have a B transition and nothing else. All right, so then what we want to do is we're going to build this thing uh, one layer at a time. It's kind of like, like an onion, where you start with like the inner layers and you start building outer and outer layers until you got the whole thing. So what we can do is, well, this B, well, there's nothing else to do with the B. So it's going to be union with this thing. So we got to think, we got to work on this side. Well, this A right here is concatenated with a bunch of stuff and we, there's nothing else to do with that A. So I'm not going to touch that. So generally you want to start with this, the thing on the innermost layer and by layer here, I mean within the parentheses. So if they're like parentheses within those, you want to work with those first. It's kind of like a, an ex a mathematical expression with PEMDAS, you work with the, the inner things first because of the P in PEMDAS, and then you work your way out. Same idea here. And there's actually an, an analogy there, um, but I'm not gonna go into it. All right, so then what we can do is, let's work with two pieces. So let's do A, B. And remember for concatenation, all we need to do is to take the two things, and uh, so I'm gonna copy and paste them down, and then we, will connect one up to the other. So the A is obviously gonna go first and then the B next. So then what we need to do is to connect every final state of the, the first side into the start state of the second side with an epsilon transition and make the, the original state non-final here. So uh, if there are multiple states here, they would all have an epsilon transition to this one state here. And by the way, there is a way to avoid this epsilon transition, but I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna go into that. So you can make a smaller NFA for this, but I want this to be an algorithmic method that always works. All right. So then for A B B, it's gonna be just this thing. So if we look at this, this is an A B can uh, concatenated with the B. So I'm gonna copy and paste those things down. So epsilon. B. So that's the left half. And then I'm going to have a right half. Okay. And then now I'm going to, uh, again, connect every final state of the first half to the start state of the second half by and making it non-final with an epsilon transition. So you can kind of see that the, the pattern was going to hold anyway, but it's just nice to see if it actually works. All right. So let's, let's take uh, the star into account. So I'm gonna uh, change to black here, A, B, B, star. So I'm gonna copy and paste this thing. So I'm gonna have this, so A, epsilon, B, epsilon, uh, B. And then for the star part, what we need to do is to make a, a new start state. Although there, there is a way to actually avoid this kinda, but uh, which is a, a final state because the empty string is in the star of anything. So, and what happens is we do an epsilon transition um, into the start state from, from this brand new guy. And every, pre, and every final state over here will epsilon its way back to either this, the actual new start state or the old one, it doesn't actually matter. I'm gonna do it to the brand new one. Okay, so that, that's the star now. So then now let's do the concatenation of the two. So uh, we're gonna have A, A, B, B star, and it's pretty obvious what's gonna happen here. 
So I'm gonna have the A machine. Probably should have, should have made the state a little bigger. So there's the A thing, and then now I need the this thing. So this there's an A, epsilon, B, epsilon. You can see why a computer's really good for the tool like this. So there's that. So then now we need to connect every uh, final state from the first half to the start state of the second half, just like we did before. So, and with an epsilon transition. Actually, I'll put it above so it's, it matches. All right, so uh, there we go. So then now we did the first half, now we just need to complete the whole thing. So I'm gonna erase this because this is gonna be a rather big machine. All right, so then uh, let's, let's do this. So A, A, B, B, star, draw the star a little better, union B. So then I'm gonna copy that monster down. Um, and for union, we do things a little differently where we arrange them on top, although you don't have to do that. So I'm gonna have A, epsilon, epsilon. So this, this one was a final guy. And then A, epsilon, B, epsilon, B. And then this went back to, to here on B. Oh, oh, I should have corrected myself. That's epsilon. I was wondering, why is it a B? All right, and then, uh, so that's the, the first half. Now the second half, I'm just going to have B here. Okay, so then now what we need to do is to make a new start state that epsilon transitions to both of the original starting states. So I'm going to have a new one here. It's not going to be final because we don't know in general whether or not the two halves are going to accept the empty string, although it won't matter because we are doing epsilon transitions in any way. So uh, even if uh, one of them has the empty string, then we can just epsilon to that state anyway, so it doesn't matter. And that's the corresponding NFA for that particular regex. So the procedure is extremely easy. All you have to do is to figure out each of the small components, uh, things that can't be divided into smaller things. So ones that are not shown here are the empty string and the empty set. And you just make similar NFAs for those. We did uh, two of the ones for single letters, which are A and B. And the three operations are gonna be concatenation, union, and star. So concatenation, the whole idea is that every single final state of the first one, you epsilon transition to the start state of the second one and make sure that they're not final on the left side. For union, you put the two machines, uh, one on top of the, each other, make a new start state that epsilon transitions to both. And for star, all that you do is you put the original NFA down, make a new start state that is final, epsilon transition into the new start, into the old start state, and epsilon transition either to the new one or the new old star state. It doesn't, it doesn't actually matter there. And this epsilon transition comes from every one of the final states in the original machine. And that's how you convert any regex into an NFA. So hopefully that was interesting. Leave thoughts about this conversion into the comments down below. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. That was easy. That was easy. That was easy.